Hello, this is Dima coming back for another recording session for the EU4 series on Poland. Um, I think we're, if I remember where we left off, we pretty much have beaten back the Ottomans, but I think I had a bit of a problem with the recording for... So there's going to be, a, if I remember right, there was a gap that we uh, did suffer. Also, I do apologize uh, if, I don't, if I start coughing or anything again. Again, still trying to get over this. It seems like whatever I had was the cough still here, but everything else is fine. Um, <clears throat> again, um, I do want to say I do still apologize. I think what I'm going to end up doing is when I'm recording this, I might end up doing a separate clip and making that the in-between episode to explain and then I'll probably give a heads up warning that it'll probably because I know that episode is going to be a bit longer than what I was planning but um to get in what we're doing now I know we were at war we were at Pomerania and then we were at war with Denmark I don't think we're actually going to get anything out of this. I would like, if I could, I'd like to start getting some of this day territory. <sighs> also, I just woke up as well, so I'm still pretty tired. Um, so let's go ahead and pause. Um, if I remember correctly, I think I'm still behind a little bit on the Diplotech. Yes, so we're one behind, which is not bad considering where we were at. So tech-wise, we're not doing bad. Tech could always be much worse than that. We were two behind, but we've been catching back up. So let's let our allies deal with the war themselves. I think, as a neutral party, I think we kind of won out. Um, again, I'm still considering war against um, the Russians. I think it's really advantageous for us to do it. I'm actually curious if I declare war, if anybody else is going to try to declare war on them. Timurids are touching them. Track tie is actually involved a little bit. <clears throat> Korea, that uh, Bariatia. I hope I did not butcher that. Basically, everybody kind of has a, I think, some type of beef to have against the Ottoman <clears throat> or against the Russians at this point. Um, so it's actually gotten pretty interesting because I think I made mention before that. Oh yes, I almost forgot. I had to build this new army. So a seventeen six seven. Alright, how many infantry seventeen? Right. <coughs> Oop, got a bit of lag. Big lag spike. Woo. Woo, that was a big lag spike. It's not ready for that. just froze my entire game out that was fun yeah I do feel sorry for the Danes I think they're gonna get beaten back more and more um, I'm hoping peace ends or begins shortly um, because my main goal I think is that we should probably try to see if we can get control <clears throat> and hit the other side of the waters because I think if we can start marching across this way it could be pretty interesting to see what happens at the same time, I'm also trying, I think, to get the remainder of our claims done. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to take this northern strip of Turkey over, um, just to have access to it. Let's see. Where do we have a claim at already? So we already have one on Bolu, that's good. Assemble an army. <coughs> That's good. Okay, now all of a sudden, Poland's gotten that much more powerful. That's great for us. So let's go ahead and get a new general. A 2412. Not bad. So we got one last cannon getting produced for them. They'll be set up, ready to go. I do see where Denmark's weak at. It's only got that one border province. Or it's got the... Uh, <clears throat> The main connecting islands here. I think that's I think that's Denmark's most valuable asset. Like you can hit it off the mainland, but if Denmark would happen to retreat into Sweden, <clears throat> if you have the fleet as Denmark, that's where you would like to hold out. 
as it's just so advantageous. I've I've always noticed that with them. Although I've never really had an opportunity to play as Denmark and do well as them. <clears throat> Mainly because it's just they're they're a bit of a complicated group to, or con a uh, little bit of a complicated country to play as if I can actually speak. Um, <clears throat> because the personal unions really come in handy to play it as it's just sweden and norway are always trying to vie for independence um norway in this scenario actually was able to get independence but for whatever reason they decided to um <clears throat> try to become friendly again with them so they actually got the royal marriage however sweden got absorbed <clears throat> which is usually the opposite i always see it's usually norway gets absorbed but not sweden but we got to change in it all and then at least up here, I don't know what the heck those guys are doing. I'm surprised Britain isn't beating them back. <clears throat> That's actually pretty surprising. Accept a petition, or we get 11 peasants down in Athens. How about, how about you move down there, start marching. <clears throat> And we'll deal with the peasants. Yeah, and I'm not too concerned about sending my armies out. I don't see it as advantageous at this point. I think staying on defense and waiting this out is our best bet. <clears throat> Alright, I already got an army heading down that way. Am I able to fabricate any claims? No, we have to have a province next to us, so that's worthless to have. Uh, let's see, tech-wise, how's tech doing? So military tech is going to be up there, hopefully before... Seems like it is going to be, uh, before the new tech arrives. <clears throat> so that's really good for us there. And then we already have the institution, so we're good there. And then what's this one? Manufactories. We gotta have one of those manufactory things just to be able to play this, so. Alright, so military we can already get. So let's go ahead and dump some military points there. <clears throat> hopefully by the time we get those admin and the military technology in, hopefully Diplo's ready to go after them. I'm actually surprised at how financially bad we're doing again. It always seems like finances always go really high and then it just shatters and then it comes back again and again and again. Alright, hopefully this new army is able to beat up the peasants. So let's get that back. Good, head across, kill them. That's not good, they got Doomsday. <clears throat> good, we won the battle. Okay, so... How's that again looking? Not bad, we're getting there. We're about... May... About seven months, and then that'll be done. So, let's go ahead and get you guys back up here. Now, I don't know how many people would support the move of retreating to Constantinople as my capital, but there's just too much value down here. There's just too much value. Const I mean, the trade node's too valuable. It's too ironic that we secured the main capital. <clears throat> I have to have it as my own. Also, I need one of my armies head here, because it looks like, for whatever reason... My AI have, for whatever reason, left that entire front open, and Denmark is pushing in like crazy. <sighs> wow. Do apologize if I'm yawning a little bit too much. I'm just real. Still getting up, still waking myself up a little bit. <clears throat> Good, two easy battles. Looks like the Danes are sending whatever 3k troops they have back. That's going to get killed. Yep, there it is. Hopefully that means Denmark will want to surrender here shortly. 
Because originally they lost this territory, now all of a sudden they're losing a the northern territory. So we're going to go ahead and march back into this. We're going to hit them again. And then I'm going to give this back to Brandenburg since they're the only ones that want the territory. <coughs> Go ahead and head here, we can get a 2k kill. Good, go ahead and siege that down, that's good for us. And push there, siege that down, we'll take all this land off of them. Go ahead and give me a new military, go ahead and give me the new admin. So we're set up for them. And then, we're gonna go ahead and get the new swivel cannon. <clears throat> that was the other thing I've been noticing, um, at least for, like, techs and stuff, it seems like Poland's doing pr it seems like we're doing pretty well, and I always, I've never really understood the differences in military units, like, I know each, um, each group, like, Western Europe gets its, Eastern Europe gets its, uh, own customized units, it's just weird trying to use them all at the same time. I, I, like I said, I've never really played in the East. I've always played as like Western or Central Europe. Because it, it always seemed like it was easier. <clears throat> Good, Lithuania is beating up the uh, Danes. Uh, they might take some casualties. Yeah, they're going to get beat up pretty badly. Although it looks like Brandenburg sending the god, their god general in, so let's see how that works out. Good, milk's all gone. They stack wipe them? Oh my god, Brandenburg, why? <clears throat> Alright, that hopefully means they're gonna de-siege all this territory for us. That'll make our lives a little bit easier. Um... I mean, Denmark's putting up a heck of a fight. I mean, they just left their fronts all open. They went south. Um, but definitely, we're going to go ahead and try to get ready for this war against the Ottomans for the millionth time trying to take over their lands. Um, Coalition-wise, I think we were angering the Mamluks again. Yes. But again, I'm not too concerned about it. <clears throat> They'll get over it, one way or another. I'm pretty sure Denmark has to be in close to when to surrender, yeah. <clears throat> They're already at that stage. And also, how's the religious map mode still looking? I mean, Denmark should probably be friends, we shouldn't be enemies in this case. Saying as we are the last, pretty much the last saviors of uh, Catholicism. The only other people that are still Catholic, I think, are Bohemia and um, ow, Hungary, and then Spain and Castile and Portugal. Although I really feel sorry for uh, the way Aragon got screwed. I fig you you would figure that Castile would be the ones that would get a personal union with Aragon, but not. Not the Austrians. I did not expect that. That was actually a pretty funny uh, turn of events in that situation. So, I'm going to keep my armies just sitting there attacking them here. Whew. Also, I don't know how long I plan on playing this for. Um, I think it's only been about 10 minutes since I restarted this, so... I don't know if I'm going to play for an hour and then try to relax a little bit, maybe come back a little bit later, or not. That does sound kind of like a nice little idea. So I might play this for an hour, and then have some go get some breakfast, and then, then probably come back and play for like maybe another half hour to an hour. Um, another thing I hope that doesn't cause a problem, which um, I wasn't too sure if I should do it for the update video for the episode I lost, or not, but I also messed with the bitrate for recording sessions. Um, I did have it at un a really unholy amount when I would record this, so 
Somebody recommend. Somebody has sat there and watched because I was trying to figure out what was going on with the um. Um, what do you call it? Uh, the recording when I lost it was I seen a YouTube video on it. Somebody recommended. Um, you don't need as high as a bit rate as I was doing it at. I can actually have it less. Because it, one issue I was finding, which it wasn't too prominent because I always deleted the videos after so long, was I had too high for my recordings was the how it got recorded. So the bitrate was too high, so it was taking up a lot more memory on my uh, hard drive, which I have a, only one te two terabyte hard drive, which it's useful. I love it. But it's somewhat hilarious how easy it is to uh, use up that much how, that much space so quickly. Let's see, if I would happen to want to... No, I couldn't declare war on Venice. Could I declare war on a knight? I could. That'd actually be a worthy war. Um, we could get basically complete control out here. We could, get, um, we could push him out of Greece, and we could gain all that under our control. Damn you, Lithuania. So, that sucks. Austria is suffering from a lot of that. Oh, man. Naples. Yeah, I think what we might end up doing is we're going to go ahead and get a war goal set. Because I think a war against the Ottomans is advantageous, but I also think a war against um, the Knights is advantageous. Because mainly because we can secure some more territory from them. So let's go ahead and move you guys back. Then we could also beat up Venice, which would be nice. We could push them out of some more territory and get them out of the Balkans. Because a couple things I'd like to grab is Crete as well. Build me five more ships. Where did this technology happen to Limburg? So it spawned in the Netherlands, which we don't have a rivalry, I think, with the Netherlands. So that means that territory could come our way. Another thing I'm noticing is Castile's lands through here were suffering a lot, it, it appeared. Um, ooh, we actually do need legitimacy. Because I don't have the money. Let's do legitimacy, that'll be nice. Is they got a lot of their ter- oh wow, that's actually a decent general. Is they were suffering a lot of their lands being um, hit by rebellions. So it's been making me curious as to um, if Castile lost these lands because of war against the Netherlands or it's because of rebels hitting them here. They lose the territory, then they get annexed by Netherlands because either Netherlands goes to war with them or. Because they are another ones, a pop-up comes up for them to automatically join. So it's been pretty curious to see how that works. Uh, let's go ahead. I don't want to upgrade the ships. Ain't worth it. Advisor costs are hitting us pretty hard. Root out corruption. Oh uh, yeah, I keep forgetting about that. Well... Damn it, Brandenburg, you stupid idiots. Well, at least all the territory got sieged down. That makes it fun. Attack the forts. That's Brandenburg's lands. 
send those guys in. We'll see Jat down. We'll give pretty much everything to Brandenburg so that they can fight. It's just really weird playing this game from these from this perspective. <laughs> you go 45 episodes in, and so many recording sessions as England, and then you gotta go to get used to this. Again, I'm pretty sure there's probably, if anybody watches this into the future, they're probably wondering why I haven't gone Commonwealth. It's just, I probably would have by now. It's just I can't now. So it's just like I'm just stuck with what I got, which. Again, I'm not complaining. I mean, we got the territory we need. We can easily beat back anybody at this point. Alright, so now they got complete control over that. Thank God. Now that's Brandenburg growing larger. Alright, I think having these armies down here in the south actually makes more sense. So you guys are going to head to Athens. You guys are going to head to Edernine. Uh, then will that army get a little bit of a head start? I think I had here. Kind of like that Albania got involved. I think they're going to be a good ally to have as well, because we got to make a decision on how we're going to deal with Venice, because they are a bit of a power player. They're not, I don't think they have army strength as me, but that navy of theirs can really probably kick my butt. Um, wait a minute, where the hell is Russia? Oh my god, I got more troops than they do, that's funny. They have a big manpower reserve. Um, so if we go and try to find Venice. Venice only has 43,000 troops. So I have pretty much a double of their army. However, when it comes to Navy, they have... Wait a minute. Their force limit is 84. But their total amount is 154. I feel like they're suffering. They have to be suffering economically. If they're not suffering economically, you're kidding me. Uh, what was the other thing I had to end up getting ready to do? Oh yeah, I gotta get set for that loan to get repaid. How is inflation looking? We're not doing bad. <sighs> Again, our, I think our biggest problem is that we're just suffering so much cost. I probably could... Yeah, rooting out corruption, that's what's doing it. It's taking five ducats away from us. Huh? On the other hand, we still suffer pretty badly economically. How's my forts looking? So, the western forts are all set up. So, those are the main worries. I need you guys training. Fighting in another war. Who the hell's Austria at war with? They're at war with Morocco. Wow. So wait a minute. At war with Morocco and Fulo. Oh, really? They do have an alliance with Austria. That is interesting. Actually, wasn't ready to see that. That's kind of weird. I did not know that the, uh... Thompson actually was able to get Austria on their side. It's kind of weird. Alright. Hopefully that keeps occurring as much as it can. I just root out corruption at that. 
How fast does that go? Because I could do that and then get rid of my fort. Do this too. Yeah, we'll do that. That'll help us economically, because it means that, that more of this is going to get rid of. And then I'll just lower how much we spend into it. And we also are suffering the issue of the interest on that going to be built up. So let's see, what is, it's going to get you, I don't think I'm going to mess with roads though, I don't see it as being advantageous in any way. Because I don't want roads as much as I would like. We can always push in against the Mamluks and the Ottomans through here and take that over, then attack roads. Also, fleet done, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, and then we'll mothball them, because I'll lower it, I think, even more. Yeah, we may not have any choice. I might just have to get rid of the advisors. They just cost too much at this point. Can I get... It's a good idea is, can I get any of these yet? No. get any of this. We need to have economic ideas, we gotta have innovative ideas, we gotta have a lot of those ideas done. Could get economic ideas just to give us more money. Hmm. And then, what's actually the, where is it, there we go, 15% morale, that'll be useful. Come on, keep reducing it, we need more money. Whew. Point oh nine a month. So if we wait every month, it'll just keep getting less and less. I think we might just want to hold out. Then we'll get our economy back. We'll keep everything down for a little bit longer. I keep forgetting that I keep doing the uh, corruption thing. Is there a... Go ahead and do that, we'll get extra taxes. Put there and see. That actually was somewhat of a good idea, and now with that gone, now we're making money. So we're gonna have to hold out because I gotta repay this loan back.
So we'll try to get like maybe a thousand ducats before we do anything else. I wonder if I should just make claims against all of Rhodes, or all of the Knights territory and just wipe them out. Um, that will give us, because the main idea is to get complete control over Greece. Hmm. I think that's what we might want to do. So let's try to get like a thousand ducats in reserve. We'll use that, and then we'll bring back everything that we we're losing militarily. So, the fleet can go ahead and get brought back. It's, it's no real problems with it. It's not taking too much of our money away. And then, when I bring the army back, how much is that? That's going to lower us down to 12.9. Bring back the forts, it's probably going to get us to 1.47. I don't think I need a military advisor, so let's get rid of him. Let's just close that for a bit, we'll see what that does. Somehow that made us lose money. That's nice. So let's go ahead and pay off this loan. Go ahead and get rid of this guy next. And then let's jump up to speed four actually. Oop, Austria wants this back, that's good for us. Lost the military general, let's bring it back. 3221. Very average. And let's get you guys training again. Good, at least one army still has it. I like money. Yeah, and I think that's I think that's what might be hurting us. I think we're just so damaged economically. I don't his advisor costs we're getting a uh, state mo uh, state maintenance. But let's see. Institution spread. Did I have any other instit or edicts running around? No, I don't think I had any activated.